Good afternoon, I'm Bill Davis from the Alabama State Department of Police. We're here today to let you know that we're endorsing Mark Griffin for the 5th Congressional District of Congress of the United States. We did a questionnaire and sent them out to the candidates, and we feel that Parker is more qualified and the person that we need in, in Congress in, in Washington to uh, best suit the needs of public safety and keep the public safe from harm. We feel that he will also support law enforcement throughout the state and try to help us get some of the grant money back that we've lost over the years and try to help better equip police officers all across the state. So with that, uh, I want to say that we are endorsing Parker Griffin Kent for Congress. Let me say that how, uh, how proud and, and, and humble I am to have this endorsement. I think some of us, uh, many of us take for granted the police work that goes on to keep our community safe. I think just in the last few years, um, we have said goodbye to Officer Freeman and Officer Golden and my good friend Verlin Lee Master in Grant, Alabama, who's a police chief that was killed in the line of duty. Uh, secondary to uh, two drug users uh, with uh, uh, methamphetamine abuse, uh, we've got a we've got a really really uh, hard road to hoe out here as far as our drug control is concerned. And we've seen funds dry up that we had five or six years ago that we, we thought we were making some progress, but now the funding is uh, disappearing. I pledge to the Fraternal Order of Police because of their endorsement and the fact that they've always been helpful to me that when I'm in Congress I'll work in a nonpartisan way to be sure that we work both sides of the aisle because the safety of our community is not a Republican or a Democratic issue. It's about quality of life for our citizens. And so we won't see any partisan uh, fighting and bickering on my part. We're going to see a, an effort to reach across the aisle and bring monies to our, to our uh, community for law enforcement. We need our salaries increased, and above all, we need to reassure our families because we know that the death of police officers in this climate in America today is not an unusual occurrence. I just named three that happened in the 5th Congressional District over the last 36 months. We need to make sure that all of our police officers, when they leave home in the morning, they know we're going to take care of their families if, the, if something horrible happens to them. They need to be reassured about that. So I'm proud of the endorsement.